Well, I can tell you for free that that vehicle was burnt because it was cheaper to burn it than to rein in the oil thief that is behind it all. Usually what Nigeria has done in the last several decades is to parade a young, helpless, improperly educated, uh, jobless youth mm -hmm. from the Niger Delta. From the Niger Delta. Thief. But I argue that such a person shouldn't be called a thief. He should be rehabilitated. He belongs to a place where you have to educate him, reorientate him, and make him a patriotic Nigerian. He is a victim of oil thieves. Today you may need to hear that the real thief of oil is someone who has a yacht, is someone who has a golf course, is someone who cannot sleep a night in the Niger Delta because of mosquitoes oh, yes. and insecurity, is someone who has properties in London, in Banana Island, uh -huh. in Abuja, in uh, Frankfurt, in New York City. Those are the thieves. They have a lot of money. You may want to imagine... The Joint Task Force for Prevention of uh, Oil Thievery and Vandalism in the Niger Delta came as far away, as far ago as uh, 1998. That is 25 years ago. And I can tell you for free that go to Krikri Prison, go to Potakot Prison, go to Kogi Prison, go to Puje, Kuje Prison. You won't find any big oil thief. No way. None. And even for the, these no. boys, when they are caught, they find a way and just die, mm -hmm. you know. And so even this one, now that the, the vessel is burnt and the crew burnt and so on and so forth, after once or twice, even Rufai won't talk about it again. So that is the game, that is the story. The authorities know clearly who and who are behind it. The last time, I think someone came on TV and showed clearly where all the stolen oil goes to. This particular oil, if you had allowed it, you would have gone to either Britain mm -hmm. or gone to America oh, or yeah. gone to China or gone to India. They go to these places, you know, these vehicles are big enough, the world knows them. So everyone that is in authority knows them, except for maybe Rofai and Abati and myself. But they are well known. So those are the real oil thieves. The subsidy thieves. The subsidy rocketeers, they're not saying, okay, you want uh, subsidy to go. What of those who have been milking the system for the last several decades? Who brought in one, uh, one ship load in, collected money for 10 ship loads? Who brought no ship load, perfected papers, and collected money for 20 ship loads? And the racket thing has been going on and on and on. And so if you just stop uh, so-called oil subsidy and no one is going in for it, what have you done? Billions have been slow stolen. Nigerians have been faced. That is the game. It goes on. Those Say it, your majesty. You, they know who does it and who does not do it. And the reason why they prefer to present the face of a, uh, of a young, uh, uh, uneducated, unemployed person from the Niger Delta as a thief is to distract the world. Because it looks more menacing and more interesting. To see someone that has no shots, that is beating cancer every day mm -hmm. in the name of uh, crude oil theft, mm -hmm. a few jerry cans, and then people will take ship loads. You can imagine a group of persons who are taking away what Nigeria produces in a day mm -hmm. in one ship. And the Nigerian authorities want to pretend that they don't know who are doing it. They don't know the terminal where it was, it was, it was uh, uh, loaded. Don't tell me that again. I don't want to hear that. Of course, you may also go and need to go and read the book, The Riddle of the Oil Thief. The whole story is there. It's a riddle. It's a game where you distract the entire world to believe in that someone else is the one that is stealing the oil when the main man is feeding fat and, and walking about free. In which country, in which home, will someone set his village, his, his house ablaze yeah. because there's a rat inside? Will set uh, his house ablaze because a snake has entered inside? It's never done. Why should that vessel be set up place? Well, the majesty. reason is obvious. So that they don't get to the big men who are behind oil theft in Nigeria. This is a good example to tell the entire country that the oil thieves are big men, big enough. International governments, governments of foreign countries are involved, NNPC is involved, and many more involved. And you know them all as well. You don't need to get it out of my mouth, but these are the facts about it. You said it. Thank you. Well, will you